For this exercise, let's create a new design using the lid1 working file. And what we want to do with this is we want to add thin features called ribs. Ribs are often used in plastic parts or casted parts to prevent warping by adding stiffness really to thin walled parts. So the creation of ribs requires an open profile sketch, so it's not a closed loop. And you use the rib feature and the open profile, but the rib feature to define the thickness and the direction you specify. So your open profile defines the cross section, the rib itself defines the thickness and the directions you want to specify. So if you're not currently, switch to the model workspace and rotate the model around so we can see the inside of this lid. It's actually a lid for a barbecue. And what we want to do is we want to strengthen a little bit so when it warms up, it doesn't start to deform. So we're going to start by creating a sketch. So let's select create sketch from the sketch panel. And let's sketch on the plane here that goes through the middle of the part. Now, if we right click on the sketch that it's created, we can also do a slice sketch. So we can actually see right through into where our geometry or where our sketch plane actually sits in the model. And let's start by just adding a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a line that extends through and up on this part. The line doesn't actually need to touch the extents of the model because the rib feature will actually extend it to intersect with the model. So we've got our line in there. We could obviously start adding dimensions and other things to constrain it, but we just want to take a look at what this rib feature is going to do for us. So let's stop the sketch and return back to the model. Now that we have the line in place, it's an open profile. Let's go to the create dropdown and let's select rib. So you can see it uses an open sketch, so an open profile to create the thin feature. So this is the object that we want. Thickness, do we want the thickness to go in both directions from our sketch? So this is in the middle and the distance is gonna go in both directions. Or do we want it just to go in one direction? So from our sketch plane in just one direction. But let's stick with symmetrical and let's see what happens if we put five millimeters in. My case, I can see it's actually extending it right to the extents of the model. If I click the flip direction, then we're actually getting the results that we want. So now it's going towards the model instead of away from it. So I'm getting those results that I want. Now what the two next means is that it's just gonna simply extend this out until it hits the next object. If I was to change this to a depth option, then we can actually specify the direction in both directions. So we end up with these more web-like ribs in there. But let's stick with symmetrical. Let's stick with two next. Let's specify a thickness of 10 millimeters and let's click OK to generate our rib. Now let's rotate the model around and let's try creating one on the outside of the shape. So again, we're gonna to go to the sketch panel. We're gonna say create sketch. This time let's create on the plane that's 90 degrees from the one we used last time. And let's add in a line and an arc. So on the outside of this model here, what I want is I want to add a line and then I'm gonna click and drag to add an arc. Now what's key here is that your geometry has to be able to actually extend out and intersect with the object. So if our line was something like this, this would not terminate correctly and the rib is gonna fail. So I'm just gonna undo that to restore back. Make sure your geometry is in a position that it will actually be able to extend and intersect with the object. If you wanna make sure, what you might wanna do is actually project the geometry and then apply a coincident constraint so your geometry is actually snapped to the outside of the shape. Well, I'm gonna select Stop Sketch. I'm gonna to go to the Create dropdown. I'm gonna select Rib. I'm gonna select my new geometry. Now again, it's gone in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna use the Flip to flip it. And in this case, I don't want the two next. I want the Depth option. Let's set the thickness to 30 millimeters and let's set the depth to five millimeters. So there's the shape it's gonna create. I click OK and it's now applied that rib to the model. Now, if we go and we actually modify the sketch, let's take the line and let's actually move it into the model. Click Stop to return back. So that finishes our exercise looking at thin features called ribs.